Helldivers, we have a lot of news to go over today. Weapon buffs, talks from Shams Jorjani. Finally, like where did he disappear to? As well as some players are not very happy with Liberty Day and a lot more. So grab a hot cup of Liberty and let's dive right into the video. <laughs> To start off with, there has been a lot of players who have not received their free rewards. I know, what in the managed democracy is that? If you're still waiting for your Liberty Day gifts, we've started a new payout job that's rolling it out to every account in existence that doesn't already have it. And it's running as we speak. Yes, guys, so make sure you stay up to date with it. Everyone who did not get theirs, basically. I got mine pretty fast. I mean, almost immediately. Even if you was not active on the day, you still will receive the rewards. So do not worry about that either way. Now, a lot of you have been talking about the Constitution Rival inside of Liberty Day. This has been quite an interesting topic, to say the least. This guy writes here, give us the doctor, put up this post. Constitution, save me. Literal coolest thing ever. This effing sucks, actually. I don't think it sucks personally. It's great mostly against the bugs. However, it can take down a charger if you stab it in the leg seven times. I believe it's seven times, which is quite mad when you think about it, that you can just like, stab a charger seven times in the leg and take it down. I mean, you know, what in the managed democracy is that? And man, with the stalkers, it's literally two shots to the face. Them stalkers can be hefty buggers. Two shots with the bot action rifle. Yeah, that, that's amazing. To me, that's amazing. Bots, though, is a whole different story its damage is pretty good but you need to be so goddamn accurate to actually take anything down it's one of those weapons where you are basically asking for a challenge using it you know this bolt action rifle is not meant to be some overpowered stratagem based weapon or anything modern that's in the game currently for its time period it's meant to be and do what it's intended to do. It's a weapon that reminds you of the past. And I think in some areas it's very powerful and decent. And in others, it's not. It does what it says on the packaging. You know, bolt action rifle with a bayonet. Yeah, so, so what, more, what more do you want? Okay, what more do you want? And if you try and take down a Hulk, it will bitch slap you back to Super Earth. We do have more official news on this rifle later on in the video because apparently it may be getting a buff. Now Shams Jorjani has finally also got more active in Helldivers 2 again. No one really knows where he went because he's been very silent lately and yeah, no, no one really understands why. Someone was asking him if Liberty Day was overhyped and I think many of us had that impression from a lot of what was said in Discord at the time. I certainly myself was really hyped and there was somebody on the Discord, I think it would be Vitamin, that turned around and said they had something planned for Liberty Day and a lot of people got really hyped over that. But remember guys, Halloween is not so far away and who knows, maybe they have something planned for us Helldivers. So yeah, all hope is not lost yet. Because remember, most games don't really have any major updates until Halloween actually drops. Some games earlier than others, but most don't really have any like major events or updates until literally the day of Halloween. Shams Jorjani, no answer really. I've worked in games industry for 16 years now. Most of them in publishing and managing expectations is hard. Ask again in a week when we've collected all the sentiment reports and can tell you if most were happy or not. He says in a week, and uh, why not now? Yeah, yeah, why not now? Which makes me think, have they got something planned for Halloween? And if so, what is it? I mean, even if it's something small, I think the community would really appreciate it. Were you guys happy with Liberty Day? Drop a comment and let me know. For the most part, I was because I got my hands on the armor I've been waiting to get my hands on for ages, as well as the Constitution Rifle. So yeah, I'm a happy Helldiver. It is a hard one though, because I mean, the event overall was incredible. The idea was amazing and they can do a lot of awesome stuff with this in the future. However, I do think a lot of players thought it was very underwhelming because the armor looks great, but in reality, there's better armor to use and the bolt action weapon is fun, but not the best choice of weapons overall. Did I expect personally a little bit more? Yes, because of what was said in the Discord and the hype around it. Then again, I'm really enjoying the challenge with the Constitution Rifle. I used it on the bot front and even though it was very difficult, I still had a blast. On the same topic, 
it seems like there are some players who were not happy with Liberty Day overall. Anybody else just confused with how they rolled out Liberty Day? Super Amazon Prime still does next day delivery. <laughs> some things never change. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything more than this, but I definitely did expect to be able to use the gear today. Yes, but the new gun sucks. I interrupt this video to say, if you are enjoying the content, be sure to subscribe for Managed Democracy and you will help a Mexican held over find honest work on Super Earth. Another comment here that says, hell yeah, I like the armor. I think the gun is good. It's great overall. Constitution is the best rifle ever, hands down. I genuinely believe it to be perfect as is. No buffs necessary. So as you can see, there was mixed opinions on Liberty Day, but it did state in the major order that we would receive these gifts once Liberty Day ends. I do agree though, obviously with Arrowhead's previous track record, it's kind of obvious that we wouldn't probably get anything major. And I mean, it's not over yet because Halloween is literally around the corner. Moving on, there was a conversation over on good old Discord about these scores on Steam, which seems to be so much better now than it was. I mean, buff divers. That's the only way to put it buff divers. Much better. We're super happy that the user score on Steam is so much better and more are playing the game. This is a solid point because there was something mad like 100,000 players on the game this Liberty Day. So that was so freaking amazing to see that this game is expanding. To all you Helldivers who attended, free Liberty for you. If you look at Steam DB now, you can see we are around 30 to 55k thousand players averagely. Remember weekdays though, people are at work and there won't be as many people playing, so numbers will vary. This is just Steam though, so imagine PS5, okay? Imagine the numbers together, PS5 and Steam, it is probably way over 200,000 players. Drop a comment and let me know, what are you playing on? Me, PC. Yeah, yeah, PC. Now, the Constitution Rifle could be getting a buff. A lot of you have asked for this, and it could actually be happening. If there's enough demand for this buff, Arrowhead will go ahead and give the community what they want. Personally, I think it's fine, but since it's bolt action, and you know, now we are buff divers, B Vitamin, I'm sure that players want more damage, and a stripper clip will reach the team via sentiment collected by the community managers. Given how many people are saying it, and they can decide if their workload ever becomes more manageable if they want to do it. So yeah, well, I think it's fine really, but if you're someone who wants to rock it as a main primary for the future, a buff could be really useful. I like the challenge, I mean it does a quite a good job against most bugs, obviously it's not really the best weapon against the bugs because you just get super crowded. I think the bot action rifle is a bit more manageable against the bots obviously because you don't get crowded as easily, however it is still very difficult because you need to be really, really, really super accurate. Before we move on to the ideas that you guys have been suggesting, I just want to say this, okay, even though Liberty Day is over and done with, Halloween is literally, okay, literally around the corner and most updates come on Halloween. I mean, there could be something that Arrowhead have planned. I mean, they're not going to tell us everything, you know, they want to surprise us. So they could have something planned, even if it's something small, new difficulty, a mission, just something. Talking about variety, many of you want to see more of that in game. And there's some great suggestions here. Arrowhead, is this possible for the game's first anniversary? Thanks for the 2124 Constitution. Helldivers 1 came out originally around March time, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong below. So we could see a saber like that around that time frame. Imagine that, a saber, okay, a saber, slashing bugs up into small pieces for democracy. Who doesn't want that, okay? Who doesn't want that? The saber is a weapon a lot of us held eyes would love to see in the game. Now we do obviously have a bayonet, so it's very much possible we could see individual melee weapons come our way eventually. This next one is awesome is definitely possible as well. Akimbo secondaries. Booster we want, the booster we need, the booster we deserve. Man, can you imagine dual wielding two machine gun pistols or the senator that can take down bold titans? Give that to me. I need that for democracy right now. Dual wielding enters the game. The saber enters the game. And the illuminate enters the game. 
Double stim pistols though, I don't think would be allowed and what's the point so probably would be avoided by the developers for sure. Drop a comment and tell me, dual secondaries, hell yeah or hell no. Nah. Thank you so much for watching, I'm so grateful as always, you guys are legends. Until next time, go and conquer the galaxy for managed democracy and I will see you in the next one. I'm now going to finish my liberty. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been talking too much.